Hey everybody, it's Steph. So in this video, we're going to talk about how the cloud and cloud-based hosting has changed the entire software development game. It is a huge game changer and it's impacting my own app. So let me just talk about that. Just in case you don't know, cloud-based hosting is basically virtualizing any app that you build, whether it be a PHP app, a Java app, a Python app, a Ruby app, a JavaScript app, whatever. You put it inside a virtual machine and then you deploy this on a cloud-based service. And there's many out there, AWS, which is Amazon's, Google has it, um, DigitalOcean, and there are many others. So why is this a game changer? Because when you can virtualize an app and then instantly create clones of this virtualized app, the need for very advanced uh, server architecture for, for reasons of scale, meaning if you want to really grow the app huge because you're getting a lot of traffic, traditionally, prior to the cloud, it would require a lot more complex coding and engineering, load balancing strategies and so forth. With modern day, cloud-based hosting, this is super easy now. It's never been so easy. I've just learned about this stuff in the last year and it's freaking me out as an old school web developer. It's unbelievable. For instance, with Studio Web, my current app that law schools are now using to help teach code in the classroom, we uh, designed it initially to prototype six years ago and we've been refining it, refining it over the years and it's actually uh, two apps now. It's the core app, and we also have an API-based extension to the app to, to modernize and speed up certain modules, to add new capabilities. Anyway, now the whole issue of scaling it came up oh, about a year or two ago. We were looking at, okay, how are we going to scale this thing to meet more school demand and you get more students on board and so forth, and you don't want to just use one server. So because of cloud-based serving, and virtualization of apps, it just changed the whole thing. It becomes so easy. And what I call it, I call it dumb, dumb scaling. When you scale your app, you just basically create a clone of the app and create new virtualizations of your app and away you go, Bob's your uncle. Now I'm not gonna get into all the details about how all this works because there's different approaches and all this kind of stuff. And this is not a course on virtualizations of scalability of an app but you get the general idea. Uh, the cloud-based hosting is huge. Uh, cloud-based services is huge. We're now extending that not just with our core app, we're actually extending that with our uh, content. We now stream it uh, virtu from virtual servers so that we don't have to deal with that anymore. We used to have uh, dedicated servers. We still, have, we still have some left, but we used to have dedicated servers and everything would be on the dedicated servers. Uh, about two years ago or so, we offloaded all the video onto a uh, uh, content provider and they take care of all that headache for me. They have their servers and they have the cloning going on and it just works fantastic and I don't have to worry about that. And we've taken that to another step with our documentation now where I've moved all that into the cloud as well so that it, it's a lot easier for me just to keep the documentation for our app up to date because everything is on the cloud. So cloud-based services, cloud-based application development just changed the whole, changes the whole game. So uh, I know this is her sort of very high level. This is just a nighttime vlog. What do you expect? But uh, just gives you something to consider later on when you're getting into app development. Just, just so you know, you want to look into um, a cloud-based hosting, virtualization of apps. This is where the juice is. This is where the action is. And it's just going to bring down the cost of developing, uh, well, it is bringing down the cost of developing and deploying and scaling applications. It's such, it's just such a great development. As an, old, as an old time nerd from the 90s, it just makes me super excited. All right, that's it for now. Bye.